Hey everybody, this is Almanga, this is Worm Unlimited, this is the server Riviera, <clears throat> it's a modded server that um, our GM has us going on wild adventures. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's been an interesting um, time, long week. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going to try not to do that too much, but anyway. Um, it's hard to help it right now. We are... Okay, so there's been some weirdness going on in Riviera for a while. Um, about three weeks, two weeks, whatever. Um, I'm going to try to catch you up, I guess, as much as possible while we talk and walk. Um, oh yeah, I was going to check to see where I was at. <clears throat> yes, I know, I still have not downloaded the mods to make this easier. <clears throat> But, um, originally, okay, so down at Al Song's place, sorry guys, um, we should probably walk in a little bit, um, down at Al, down, up at Al, Al Song's place, there was a, um, some kind of event, and, um, it had something to do with, um, let me do this while I'm checking the map here, um, it had something to do with something, an aura or something, um, coming up next to his deed. Or his, her, I guess I don't even know if it's his or her right now, I can't remember. Al Songs has been, um, there for a while. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, so, um, then a couple weeks ago, which I think was the last video that I was able to record, um, was the, um, right by my deed, Canterbell Rose, um, but nobody checked out anything about Al Song's deed. We kind of, kind of like, well, that was kind of weird, but nobody, like, went and investigated it as a group, as far as I know. Um, and it disappeared, and so nobody, um, is this step? Okay. Oh, okay, I know where I'm at. Um, let's see if I get some other spiders. Um, I could get some horse stuff and, um, unicorn, ooh, ooh, let's go see the greenish unicorns and not aggro them, but they're friendly. So, um, geez, there's a lot to catch you up on. Um, well, you saw, if you were watching the video, if not, go back to the previous videos that I have posted, um, there is the ska -ed um, precursor came out of a. This is kind of cool. Um, just quick, get a get a picture there. Um, yeah, we're gonna do this in the dark, which is not what I intended. Um, but anyway, um, so the Scott Ed precursor was a creature that looked very much like a dragon with horns. It was kind of cool. It was really pretty, as I said, and if you were doing a drinking game to the word pretty, you would have probably passed out. As I said, it's so pretty, like, a hundred thousand times. Anyway, is it pretty? Greenish unicorns. I, somehow I thought that the unicorns were going to be small. That, that's another thing that happened over the week, was that there was a update and it changed a bunch of sizes of things, so... I don't know if these greenish unicorns will stay big like this, but they are big right now. Anyway, um, actually, I need to go find a male horse. Um, for a little one with the color on it that's not gray. Um, we'll, I'll just kind of walk around and hope they'll find one. If not, I'll grab one that's not. Um, there's nobody living in this step area anymore. There used to be a couple of different people. It uh, overall have populated that deed over there. There's a mine. I don't remember if I've showed it, shared this on the video or not. The scorpion stone. I found a bunch of scorpions on my way here, but not that close to here. Let's see. Um. So we had a big old fight. It had like a timer on it, so we were all like, "Let's hurry up and do this." And we saw the result of that video. That we did there. Let's see. Male? No. Ooh. 
female who's venerable. Maybe I'll take her too. Um, I don't know why. Then she could die, and then, yeah. Um, I was gonna pregnant, pregnantize, breed, pregnantize. I was gonna breed one of these. Yeah, let's see. Let's lose the old horse for a second. Stop bleeding. I don't know. Don't ask me why. I eventually will get some horses with all good traits. <laughs> um, my horses are close, or, or and or colors I like. <laughs> um, so, who knows? Um, take this horse with me though too. I have a feeling she's got some good stock because I found her in the woods. Um, maybe not. It's hard to tell. Um, oh, and somebody left at the end of the precursor fight. Somebody left a um, brown horse that was, at one time, was, um, um, branded, but not by anybody's name, so I went ahead and took it, and maybe I shouldn't have, it didn't have a deed on it, it just, uh, I don't know, if you happen to have lost, been to the battle of the Scott Ed Precursor, and, or at my deed, and saw, and were frustrated because you lost a horse after that, let me know, and I will give the horse back. <sighs> fed up. What? Everybody's fed up with the game. Yeah, so Henry's our GM and he's the one who's doing all these weird clues and different things going on. There ain't something on the island like before. Well, it's an idea. Um, my idea was triangulation. Um, anyway, so there was but it had nothing to do with my sky. So the sky precursor was something we had never seen before not a worm legend thing. It's not something that is common to worm. Scott Ed Precursor looked like a dragon, acted like a dragon, um, with horns, right? Pretty and red. Um, he eventually got killed after the energy force field thing, whatever. Um, sorcery spot. Okay, um, so. There was that. Um, a few other things happened while I wasn't playing, and um, let me go back to um, there. Uh, Irana has made some forum posts about this, and hopefully, while I go check it out, I'm not gonna die. I'm good. Back and forth. Um, general discussion maybe. Um, she used my, called, there's a forum post called what's going on, there's only two replies, so um, oh my gosh, it's a lot in here. And she posted all, like, kept and posted all of the um, things that were going on in the, in Riviera. And so the post makes it feel like um, we're trying to figure this out, and maybe we <laughs> maybe we're tired of it. It sounds like people are kind of I don't know. I was going to give myself a break from all the <coughs> community events and work on my um house this weekend. Um, so plans change when um we saw this event here. In between there, there was a. Maybe I need to get in another fight so I can um, sit there and look that up because that makes it easier to look up. Or maybe I smoke out a den while I'm talking. Okay, so this can't really do much else. I've got my thing. So smoke out. Oops. Let's try it. Okay, so you can see the smoke out while I'm sitting there. It's taking five minutes. Okay, good. That would give me time to come out here. Okay, so there's a forum post in the Riviera forum on the Riviera webpage for the server. Um, so there was an unknown. Okay, well this might may or may not be related. Um, there is an unknown medallion, Serral, hundred quality items dropping all over the shop. Now I don't remember. I do remember I had an unknown medallion that I picked up like a while ago by the gray area. And um, 
we were trying to figure out how to identify it because it's not identifying through archaeology. Um, where we're going to try to maybe go higher on the archaeology. We're not skilled enough to be able to do it. Um, not just not yet high enough skilled for jewelry smithing or restoration. Um, the medallions maybe have a high total skill to identify, or like you know, a whole bunch of skills. Oh, there's a bear, of course. Let's see. So, what is my character doing? Is it still smoking out the bear? Am I able to fight? Oh, well, it's letting me do both, as far as I know. So, um, okay, so there's these medallions, and they may or may not have anything to do with it. Mine came, like, way earlier, and I thought maybe that, oh, what was it? Who is it? The stop by John Dursty, I think. Um, sold me some stuff, and dropped off some things, and, um, the wagon that we see here, actually made by Henry, um, yeah, this is not... Oh, I'm hitting him, okay. Um, ever woken up on a warm mountaintop? <laughs> um, I probably got done with the... smoking out. I stopped, okay. So... I, my character was smarter than I was, um, and it decided to continue. Okay, anyway, sorry guys, um, I'm trying to like read this other web page that I can't show you as far as I'm aware. Um, so the millions, nobody knows exactly what it is. Um, we were trying to like the things that they have tried to do that didn't work: heating the medallion in a forge. Um, activating the medallion and using it on a gem. Activating the medallion and using it on ore veins. I haven't gotten all the ore veins yet. So then the sky ed mob started appearing up on Sundays. The first was the 3rd of May, near Mortar Scorn, which no one investigated and nothing spawned. Um, then the one on the 10th of May, which was the one at my deed, and um, it was, and it will collapse. There was an aura, it will collapse. The, the retreat will teleport. Retreat. Um, the, the precursor, has, the energy shield shattered, and then the aura vanishes as the last precursor was slain. So there may or may not have been a bunch of things coming up there. So then after this, when I didn't have a chance to... Sorry guys. Um, let me move around just to give you something visually to look at for a second. Assuming I didn't just reset my smoke out time. It didn't look like it. Um, so then there was... Sometime when I wasn't playing, um, there was an unknown magical axe... Rare unknown magical axe dropped from the Green Dragon Hatchling kill on the 16th of May. So this is one of our community events that Arana has been doing a lot of um, organizing for. And so the 17th of May, they said that there was a area of pure magic close to Rhiannon. The bearer seems to be an unknown magical axe. So there was some kind of magic axe. And at, at this point, Arana placed the axe on the car outside in case something had spawned on top of her. Um, then there was a magic near Ill Illidar, and it's the magical axe. So the aura has moved. The small group of Skyad Precursor to protect the area of the other magic, magic axe near Illidar, and then the Skyad failed to extract the magic axe. But the axe jumped to the ground near Illidar. It could not be picked up until associated spawns were killed. The Skyad Precursors at this time were no gumps, three of them. They hit normal non tanks pretty hard. Once split up and tanked, they were straightforward to take down with healing on tanks. They dropped resource packs, normal bassinet helms, normal two-handed swords, um, something that's probably not related, and a wear, wear longbow. The axe could be picked up after that and had 500 casts of Wind of Ages and efficiency. Um, the power will fade in 2 hours and 40 minutes. The current barrier is Hopia. Then later, that the axe finally shatters has been used zero time. So after the timer is up, the axe vanished. Okay. Um. This all, uh, so Hopia had the axe, and it vanished. And we're thinking these are related items, or either that or just like a lot of strange things that were not related. Um. That's all kind of going. Everybody like what? Give them something to think about. You guys, so then, 
later, or maybe it's the same time, a strange shrine exists in the north central area of the map. It is colored. Someone pointed out it is kind of sterile colored. Text on the shrine says, a small shrine for worshiping spirits, large enough to enter, but not much more. This is a fantastic example of the item. Fascinating design for functionality. Color is 220, red, 90, green, 90, blue, quality 100. Prism has marked on the map with a square of moss, and it's at 2749 by 826 wide. And somebody made a screenshot. Um, the Scott Ed could be an anagram of Ask Ed. Somebody said that, maybe. Tried using it on the NPCs in the city. Somebody was talking about what's going on. Activating, okay, so things that don't do anything. Activating medallion to sh with the shrine doesn't do anything. I don't bring my shrine, my medallion. Um, approaching as if it's an extra Japanese. Emoting bow. Ringing bell. Dropping coins. Clapping. Worship emote. Try combination of like sapping. Ah, this is dark. We are going to be in the dark. Um, anyway, um, and there's a troll. So, that happened before, and then now we've got something about the coldest desert. I need to flip to... Where do I flip to? Discord? Maybe? I don't know. I can't remember where I need to flip to to find it. Um, um, there's a spider. Um, and that was just this morning. It seems to be that these events or notifications of events happen on Sundays a lot of times. The first one was a Sunday, the third, the second one was Sunday, the, the tenth, and there was a Sunday, the sixteenth. So we're noticing that. We're trying to figure out how much is coincidence and how much is tied together. Um, I should look up my coordinates here. I kind of know where I'm at, but kind of not. Whoops. Cannot spell. L O C T I O N. What I suppose I could do is I could pause your video so we're not in the dark walking around so much blindly, and then you guys can come back. Maybe let's do that um, here in a, just a second, though. Um, there is a. Um, the coldest desert is probably the desert in the mountains, is what we're thinking, which actually is the case, which is what we're talking about here in the chat. There is a Greek um, um, writing on it. There is, somebody thought maybe the color had something to do with it, because maybe if the color of the monument, because the color of the monument has a specific specific color and um, if we look at the use the color as coordinates maybe that's what it is my thinking is triangulation because we have a shrine and now we have a um, monument and they're very similar they're probably related to events going on with this puzzle thing and sometimes that's a bit of fun Google is not helping um, trying to translate the Greek. I suppose we could take the Greek letters and change them to English letters. I don't know. I'm sure that that's what they've tried that. I'm not 100% certain that, but Arana's already been over there. Um, somebody else has already been over there. Krog is over there now. There is a screenshot on those down here. Huh. 
We usually wouldn't have to be at home. Cleaning knife. Oh yeah, so there. Sorcery spot. And I don't know anything about sorcery, and so there's the creek there. And our Tremor did Freud shiver. Put it in translate. With Angels on a mountain top. Um for a while I was worried about hitting the black dragon. I don't think I will. Need to try this again. Um, I'm I am gonna pause, I think. Because there's no reason to have you drag along with me. I kinda caught you up on the story so far. We will and it's getting dark, and I think I might just come back when it's light when I'm closer to it. And that way you don't have to sit there and listen to me ramble and watch me blunder around. So I will be back shortly. Hey, I'm back. Um, didn't have to go that far. Because I'm in the desert. I think I see it. Blowing. So the coldest desert is the mountain desert. Frog is here. I'm not sure how far here it is. I'm not sure what to expect. It is, does have a color on it. It's got a weird top, but that might just be. Hmm. Fantastic blah blah blah. Creek. Beta mu. Oh. Beta alpha mu. There's Krog. Krog cart. Huh. Interesting. Arms Master. Pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Fantastic. Interesting. Huh. Hmm. I have no flipping clue. Repair? Does it need repairing? Examine. Did Matt? Okay, so these monuments represent the sun. This is a fantastic example of the item. Fascinating design details and perfect ideas for constitutionality. 26, 35, 126 quality level. So the sun. Huh. We throw stuff at it? Well, what, what have we tried? <laughs> they tried a few things. Well, I don't remember what they tried. The Greek letters are kind of interesting. Huh. I don't know. What do we do? The sun. I wonder if the sun has anything to do with it. So which direction represents the sun? Represents the sun. Mean anything special? Maybe. Hmm. Monuments. What if there's more than one? I don't know. Me too. <laughs> I confused me too. Hmm. Examine. Worship? I fall to my knees and worship it? Where did I get what? 
get what? Examine. It says monuments represent the sun. Ah, <sighs> copy line. Paste. Wonder, okay. Sunrise in the east. Falling to my knees didn't do anything. They tried a few other things. Remotes. Push. You disgusting pig. No, that didn't work. I didn't really want to do that one. I wanted to do the push one. You wish you could push around the thing. Hmm. Slap. <laughs> I slapped it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Don't know. He's spitting at it. <laughs> Hello. No. I wave frantically. <laughs> I don't know. I sigh and wonder what the future holds. He's bowing. I don't know. I smile at it. Well done. Stares at it. <laughs> I don't know. This is just silly. Son of a troll. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of <laughs> curses, son of a troll. You disgusting pig! Oh my, this is funny. <laughs> um, all with the eyes. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Comfort. I gently pat it. He's pointing at it. I don't know. Laugh. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if the name is is something. I was thinking about like so I can't do a spell on it. I bet I can't do a spell. Ice pillar. I freeze the air around it. I cast the ice speller. <laughs> that didn't do anything. I cast ice speller. Ice speller. Looks prettier. <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Didn't do anything. <laughs> Ice pillar. Oh my. Or there's the opposite one. What's the sun one? Probably don't have enough. Where is it? I bet I don't have enough. It's forced to up. Hmm. That's weird. Check balance. Don't don't teleport, please. Huh. <sighs> ah. Wonder if Wonder if something happens in the morning. Hmm. I did not bring that artifact.
I don't either. I don't either. Got a good. Pick of it. Actually, do I? Let's do this for the picture. Mm, let's do this. Oops. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, I need my Just sitting here. Anything nearby? Huh. Location is exactly location. Twenty-seven oh four, thirty-one oh six. Twenty-seven oh four. I'm looking at the map here. Twenty-seven oh four oh six. Oh, right in the middle of this area. Hmm. Try to decide if I should wait or what. There's no. Yeah, it'll probably be here. Okay, 2704-3106. We're at a height of 3552. That's something that Henry has fixed since the, um, got the height there. And it's in blue, so that makes it easier to see your location. Hmm. I don't know if I really want to wait till morning. What's the other one? The hot hot one, the, the tornado, I get tentacles, fire pillar. Whoa. We're okay, right? That looks cool. Didn't do anything. Huh. Do anything but look cool. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there it goes. <sighs> I don't know. I'm not sure if I should stay or not. I don't know what to do. I was thinking about throwing something at it. But it won't, like, target. You can't do target. You can do no target. I was trying to throw the rope at it. Or rope it? I don't know. Huh. Well, 
Oh, I got my video, I guess. So we have the shrine. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking me too. Kind of. Alright. Are you staying here? Oh. He lost the link, so that means he's leaving? before I do. Make sure there's not anything that we're missing. I could go east of here. There it is from this direction. Woo! Uh, I wish it was daytime. Hmm. See if there's anything else besides stupid monsters. The thing in the desert. Okay, Krog left. One more sweep around. That's probably a unicorn or something. Huh. That's not a. Okay. Huh. So he left, left. I'm not going to leave, leave here because I don't really feel like spawning back in here. Crog cart. Hmm. So now he's carts there. Nothing around though. I don't know. that? Oh, I know what that is. That's the neighbor area. No, that's that's where I used to live. Down that way. No, I live over there. <laughs> east. East or east. Do I stay around and then just close the video and just wait till we're morning? Or that's kind of nice to talk to Krog. Hmm. You got us stumped right now. More clues needed, maybe. This is east, right? Like, if I look that way, it's west. Right? I'm just doing east of the sun. I wonder if the sun has anything to do with it. I wonder if the shrine is anything to do with the moon. The spiders and hopefully not snakes. Hopefully snakes. Hmm. Those just okay, so there's the um there's the unicorn. There's our mystery. It's a mystery. Mysterious monument. As Prague said it earlier, something about we're tired of the. Or maybe it wasn't Prague. Somebody said. How's everyone? Fed up with the little game? How are you? <laughs> not fed up, but um, not sure where to go from here. Oh, there's a venerable horse. Let's go check it out. I'm. Going to take all the horses. It's a he. 
I'm not taking them. I can go up north of here and then go to all those Camillas. Or, yeah. Mm, no. Alright, well, not sure. Shiver. Don't know. That could be somebody trying to move around instead of an actual thing. I gotta go. I think. Um, yeah. So there's what we were dealing with this week and a little bit of what's going on in between. If you like mysteries and you like figuring out weird things and nobody knows what's going on, except for maybe the GM, um, come join the server, I guess. We're Riviera. This is Warm Unlimited. Whoa, what was the red thing I saw? Something. There. Um, come play with us in Riviera. Um, you have a great day, and, well, here, let's fight the guy. <laughs> Maybe. And then I will say, have a great day. Right? Go back to that step. Anyway, um, I will talk to you some other time, and we will. Hmm. I did have my altar. Could I do anything with my altar? Probably, probably like, why did I like leave? Like, I don't know what's going on. Let's try this, and then I'll actually try it. Um. Alright, I'm leaving. Cog is logged out there, but he can come back pretty easily, and you guys all have a good day, and I will talk to you some other time. Bye from Riviera, and um, our Riviera mystery. Hey everybody, this is Almanda, this is Riviera. Of course we have to have more things going on. I was ready to give up for the day, but there is a new event. A monument shimmers where the sand is coldest. That's where I was at. So the same monument that we just saw in the last video that might be attached to the previous video that we just did. Um, its guidance will be worthless in a day's time. Uh, so, uh, wildcat, I don't care about a wildcat. So I left before this happened. Now I'm going back. Um, not sure if that's a good idea. I'm just going to log from there. And, um, we'll see. I got, um, a couple skills up. I killed a champion spider here a second ago. A fighting skill through the full day is three over what it was, so. Very nice. Um, it's daytime. I'm curious to see how it changes. I wanted to see... In the daytime, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be anything or not. Rana wants me to update them. I'm going to log over here. So, we're walking back. I need to get off for the day, though. But I think I can quickly ish TM. <laughs> Do the. Oops. Well, not quite so quickly, I think. Forgot about this divot. I used to live over here, so I kind of know this area. I keep seeing scorpions, which is good. Good to see scorpions. I'm still gonna go through the step. We're gonna still look at the greenish. I'm just gonna <laughs> gonna go through here. See if there's anything changed since the newest event. Maybe it did. Because that's one thing it did before. It was changed. Hmm. So this is the similar... Um... Type of event that we saw this morning that caused all the ruckus to begin with. That I couldn't get back to. Not the big off thing. Although the big off is kind of fun too. <laughs> didn't do anything on the big off, but that's okay. I didn't need to. 
So there was a deed over here, but it had there's like a no nothing deed as far as I can tell from the map. There's a deed over here, nothing deed from the map. We're heading towards the step from the south. Um, there's different um, Greek letters, so B, Beta, Omega, Epsilon. That gamma, uh, what's I? I, I, the one that looks like I. Iota, maybe? Zeta? Yeah, go see. Ah! It's always something. Huh, we have a day of figuring this out. So what I think I'm going to do is go over here, log back in, see I'm at the same step as before, the greenish unicorns are way up there, really high. What is that? Is it a bear? I don't remember seeing him before. Probably a bear. Champion bear or something like that, it looks big. Yeah, greenish bear. On my way back, I walk back through here. There's your stupidly big greenish unicorns. That over there is a nice little abandoned deed from a while ago. There's a hen that died. Yeah, right there. I'm looking right at it. I got a ways to get there. Alright, we're going to pause. We'll be back. And I will see you soon. Okay, I'm back. This is Amanda back again. We're going to see the obelisk in the daytime. I think I'm in the right place. I hope so. I think so. I'm a little farther east than I was before. I'm looking at the sun. We were trying to figure out if the sun had anything to do with the location. It's got a time frame. It's going to depart. Krog is still there. He's in my local. There it is. It's different in the daytime. Mm. Alright. He's logged back in. I'm going to log out from here. I don't know. I'm going to have to just watch the event thing. Like before, hmm. Maybe they're gonna see him. This isn't a problem. Yeah, see, this is me leaving earlier. Still a fantastic thing. Still glowing like it was. It's giving guidance. What the hell guidance could it be giving? Shivers, but its guidance will be worthless in a day's time. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, he did the fire pillar thing too. <laughs> hmm. Alright, I think I'm gonna log from here. I don't know. I really don't have any idea. It's really pretty blue. They were wondering if blue had something to do with it, like the color or the location. No. Fantastic example. Fascinating design details and perfect ideas for functionality. Do you think that the color could be like a treasure map? Like go do you think the color would be like a treasure map go twenty six spaces then go thirty five spaces different direction Hmm. 
We got all my stupid horses. They're just going to examine. Huh. Nothing around looked anything different. I'm gonna log. Krog is here. I'm gonna log. We'll see if it has anything exciting. I just rounded up horses. One of them's pregnant. Oh. <laughs> I'm sitting there talking to myself as if I'm just talking to myself. No. I'm not. I should be talking to you, my faithful watcher, listener people. Um, no, I should log. But when I log, it's going to, like, all the horses will scatter from here. So, um, alright, I'm going to log from here. From the monument. I have four horses. You can use. I don't know. Greek letters. Cog says the Greek letters pointing to a ship. Perhaps. Um, I'm gonna log off from the monument. I have four horses you can use. That will be available once I do. That are gray. That will scatter. See you all later. Um, probably. So, 1500 It says... What is it? Okay, so if you repair it... Repair it, departing 1536 UTC. What's 1536? Ah, oh, go look it up. UTC fifteen thirty six. Add fifteen. What's the day? Minus twelve. Cool. So three PM. Next day. See you all later. Probably. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know. It's an idea. So the Mondo Express, right? <laughs> Maybe there'll be news. Maybe there will be new news. <coughs> Should I tent? <clears throat> all right. Oh, I can hitch. Eh, I'll just go to sleep. Those all scatter. All right. Bye. Now, you guys are done. This is Riviera. This was Roman Limited. Now we're looking at a blank screen. This is Amanda. Have a great day.